Hi guys, I thought I'd do a get ready with me. I've just washed my face and put some moisturizer on so it's nice and fresh and clean. So let's get straight into it. So the foundation I'm gonna use is the Sensai foundation. This is what Mary Greenwell used on me in Paris. I really like this foundation. Um, it's really good to apply just with fingers. So I literally just taking it onto my skin and rubbing it in like a moisturizer really. What I really like about this foundation is it offers a really good amount of coverage without um, having a lot of product on your face, like it looks very natural, the finish. For concealer, I'm going to use the Clay Depot concealer. Um, this one is in the colour Okra and you don't need a lot of this product. So I've just done one pump. You can kind of just take it the places you need. And then again, I'm just gonna press in with my fingers. So that is my wet base done. Now I'm gonna use two Armani powders over the top. First of all, I'm gonna use this, which is the Neo Nude in number seven, um, all over my face really to set the foundation. And then I'm gonna use as a bronzer this, which is the bronze um, shimmering Italian sun highlighting powder, which Harvey Nichols sent me. So first of all, with the number seven, I'm just gonna press that in the places that I want the makeup to stay in place a bit more. So, you know, you don't need to kind of take it like along your jawbone and stuff, but just kind of on your T-zone. Then I'm using my bronzing brush in the bronzing powder. And I'm gonna put that in obviously the areas that I bronze normally. So it's this kind of C-shape mostly, and then a little bit on the jaw as well. For blush, I'm gonna use the Cheek to Chic um, from Charlotte Tilbury and Ecstasy, just mixing the two colors together and just hitting my cheek and up into the arch of my eye, really, this kind of area. Now I'm gonna move on to my eyes and I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty palette. This is like a mini, this is the Coral Obsessions that came from Harrods. Um, in this little set. So I'm gonna use um, these neutral colors first just to lay down a base on my lid so that things will blend out really easily. So I use the palest color first just to have some powder on the lid basically so that everything blends out from that. And then I take gradually darker and darker colors. So I'm taking that one first, putting it into the crease and on both sides. Then I'm taking this kind of terracotta color and again, just putting it through the crease and blending it out. And then I'm gonna take that bright orange in the middle of the top and do the same thing with that. So just take a little bit of that pinky color and just blend it out as well. So I'm just making like the foundations at the moment of the look. When you're happy and you feel like you have like an even base, then what I'm gonna do is use um, this, which is a cream shadow in the color Tiger from Cosmetics a la carte. I'm gonna pick that up on my finger. These are really creamy and lovely. I really like the texture of these. And just take a little bit off on the back of your hand and then onto your lid, you're just gonna press it onto your lid. And this is gonna add gorgeous glitter and color but it's also gonna prime your lids for the shadow I'm gonna press on the top as well. So now we're gonna take this gorgeous corally glittery color on our finger as well and press that in the center of where we have put the cream shadow base and just spreading it out with your finger. And the combination of the two colors, can you see how pretty that is? A, it makes the shimmer cling better and B, it means you get like this multi-dimensional color, which I love. So now I think you want quite an impactful mascara because they're so pigmented, the eyeshadows from Huda, they're really full on. If you don't trust yourself with eyeshadows, maybe stay away from that brand because they are very pigmented. I'm gonna use the Dior Show Pump and Volume Mascara because it's super high impact. And I'm just gonna wiggle that across my lashes and you can see how much product it adds right off the bang. So we're going for thick, rich lashes today. So you can see the Dior mascara is super black and super thick. It's like very high drama mascara. Nothing about that is subtle. 
So to finish for the lips, I'm gonna use a Charlotte Tilbury lip gloss. This is in Cannes Tropé, it's called, which is like this pretty nudey, kind of corally orangey pink. And that's the finished look. So I really hope you like it. It's quite impactful, it's quite, um, Fun. I would say it's probably more of an evening look. I probably wouldn't wear this in the day, but it's like a great beach bar kind of makeup look. Like the color of the eyes and the lips together, I really like. I love the shimmery gold on the lids. I think it's so pretty. Um, so I hope you like it a lot. And how well does it go with my cameo monkey necklace as well? So good. <laughs>